Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today we are um, we have the sound of a running server in the background. It's it's right here. It's the awesome IBM slash Lenovo X3650 Model 4. Uh, the one that I have that uses three and a half inch hard drives, which I use very much for testing hard drives. And I have a, some uh, three drives here that uh, needs a bit of testing. One of them is a two and a half inch though, but we can just pop that in and it will be fine. I want to test them. Uh, I have two bigger hard drives, three and a half inch hard drives, to see if we have anything urge that will go into the DUI dash over here because we haven't looked at that for a while. But if I'm not much mistaken, this um, server is out of, uh, well, my trial version has run out. So first we need to, um, to extend that. Uh, with another 180 days. When you install a version of Microsoft Server, um, you can try it out for 180 days and then it will, it won't stop working. It will just randomly start shutting down on you. Then you can extend the 180 days for another 180 days. And you can actually do that like five times. So in total, you could almost three years of testing before you actually need to do something drastical like getting a key for it or getting the new version I believe that I have I don't know let's go in and see what is this oh this is a server 2022 so it's not that old but if we look uh, there it very clearly says that the um, Windows license is expired, so we need to fix that. I have connected this server to the internet, so we can we can start Google Chrome here, and we can do a search. Server 2022, and it's called Rearming. Rearming. Uh, yes, yes. So. Let's see. There is. Here's a good web page that tells us what to do. We can run this one to do something, but we can we can run this com. We can run this command right here to um, to rearm our server. So we're gonna do that and. Um, yeah, Windows is broken here too. They don't really want you to do this, so they they hide it. And where is the best place to hide anything? In the CMD, in the command prompt. And um, to be sure that this works, we need to right click and run as administrator there. And then we um, this over there. And we can see what we're doing. So we'll run the S L M G R dash rearm. There, plunk, and it tells me that it's success. I need to reboot the server to uh, to complete that with success right there. So okay, we'll do that. And power restart. Yes, yes. So restarting. So um. Naturally, you don't want to do this on a uh, production server. You want a, a fully functional licensed version of Windows uh, server. And yeah, this is my test server. So it's, uh, I feel it's perfectly okay to run a test version of Windows server on here. And when you can't rearm the server anymore, usually there is a new version out anyway, so you can you can get the new version of Windows Server and then you have another three years to uh, be rearming that. So there we are. The message is gone down here. I'm sure it will pop up again a little bit later and tell me that I have 180 days to uh, to play around with this, but at the moment it's gone. So let's try some drives. So let's see what we have here. Okay, I thought I could save this. 
I guess I don't need to. Oh. Oh. Do I have two drives in here? Oh. Guess so. I guess I have a little drive. Oh, SSD. Uh, 240 gigabytes. It's just like this one. Yeah, exactly the same, so we'll test those. And then we have a 10, 10 terabyte. And I, I kind of like this drive. It's a Hewlett Packard branded, but it's really an Hitachi drive, as far as I remember. Yeah, Hitachi. And, ooh, and the other one is also a Hitachi drive. Also. Oh, that's a 12 terabyte. Okay, so that's that's a bit bigger. So. And another tray. If anyone is in need of these trays, I have quite a lot of them. Visit my little shop. Links in the description. I have quite a lot of these trays. If you need three and a half inch trays for Hewlett Packard servers, um, they are used in multiple different systems. So, yeah. Okay, so we have a 12 and a 10 and two uh, 240 gigabytes enterprise SSDs. So, um, okay, let's just pop the first one in. Let's start with the 10 terabyte. I was hoping to use them for this one, but as I'm using 10 terabytes for this one, the 12 terabytes, that, that was, that's gonna mess up my math. So let's pop this 10 terabyte in here and hope for the best. There. I hear it starting up at the screen here. We're gonna start by asking Disk Manager if it sees it. And yep, there is a 10 terabyte right down here. So we're gonna online that. We got initialize this to GPT. Okay. And then we're gonna make a symbol volume on that. We're gonna I forget how far I got. I think I'm at let's say disk 25. There. That seems very oh now we got our 180 days down here. So uh, yeah, that popped up right now. So um, yeah, this drive seems so far uh, responsive enough. It's not too slow or anything. Sometimes when I do this, it will take forever and ever and I, I can very clearly get an idea that it's not gonna end well. So if you watch my videos, you know that I have a very simple way of testing my hard drives. I do not have a weak to test a hard drive like this. So I want to check if it's good or bad in a couple of minutes. So I have this um, HD Tune 2.55, the free version, and it sees the drive there, so we're gonna run it. It's not a thorough test, but it gives me an idea if this drive is total crap or if it's something worth playing with. And it's not supposed to do that, so it's, it's not great when it does that. That does mean that, oh, you, you are so far away. That means that the drive is having trouble replying fast enough. And why is it suddenly all the way down there? It was up there and then it's dropped to, it looks like almost half speed. Okay, we'll let this run and I'll show you the result. Okay, here's the result. Uh, it's not a great drive for sure. It's supposed to be up here and drop a little bit along the way. So going a, down a, about from, from here to about 200 over here. All of this blue thing is not supposed to be there. The, the yellow things here are okay, but 
well this is not great I'm gonna run it again just for fun and giggles though okay it's just finishing up here and it that it did something completely different this time it started at about 150 megabytes per second and then it went up to about a hundred and 30 40 megabytes per second up here but it still has all of these like almost like clockwork so uh, probably some sector on the or oh, one side of the hard drive that where there's a bit of damage or something but it's not completely dead it just takes longer for it to retrieve that data from that bad sector um, naturally it's not good for a production environment so yeah this wasn't replaced for fun okay I ran it once more I usually only run it once but uh, this time it actually kept up there at about 230 40 well between 200 and over 200 megabytes per second except it does all of that very uh, rather predictable um, so it's definitely a bad drive so we will take that out again very carefully don't it's still spinning inside so I um, don't want to shock it too much so we're gonna write bad on it it's bad and it can join the other bad drives over here okay. and we have the 12 terabyte drive that we might just put in yeah. So will that pop up in there it is <laughs> in disk manager. So we'll online, we'll initialize and yes, it's also gonna be drive two. We're gonna we'll go next and we're gonna call that drive twenty-six disk twenty-six next next Good. So we are ready to test that one. Ooh, this looks extremely promising. Look at that. That's how that is supposed to look like. It's kept up there. It has the tiniest little bit of a of a deep or of a drop there. But this is as close to perfect as I have seen for a while so um, yeah okay it has a it has a little yellow thingy here that uh, might not be okay. this is a good drive I'm very happy with this one so we'll take that out extra carefully as it is still good so now I have one of these 240 gigabyte thingies. Just want to make sure that they work as well. Okay, the first drive pops up perfectly. It has uh, it has some sort of windows on it. So um, yeah, let's just run a test. See if it that must be that one. Okay, it's done. Um, all of this uh, random search the yellow ones are all at the bottom they're very very quick so uh, yeah and faster than the spinning disk naturally though um, though it's not even twice as fast but megabytes per second but yeah no this looks perfectly good in the meanwhile I have freed the other one from its tray so we're gonna try and pop that in as well so we're gonna take this one out don't have to be as careful with that as it doesn't have any moving parts so I'm gonna write a little okay on that because that if this is defective and there is like a split second I will mix them up for sure okay that SSD also looks just fine so um, at least in this test program and crystal disk info agrees the drive is good okay so today's result a good 12 terabytes and two good 240 gigabyte uh, SSDs. So, well, yeah. Unfortunately, 
we didn't get any drives for the DUI dash here so that's um, that's a shame I thought that there would be at least one for that but oh got cheated today as said if you are in need of these trays for the Hewlett Packard Enterprise servers they are in my shop and I have um, quite a few of them sitting around by now so uh, I do believe I can fill up a good server or two so uh, yeah oh and there is also uh, the smaller ones the two and a half inch ones if um, if you're in need of those I have shown this in another video but I still use some of these bad drives bad is not the same as a dead drive bad just means that well data isn't that safe on it um, but but I can still store a lot of data on a 10 terabyte bad drive and what I've done is that I have all my videos here here I have some uh, artwork some backup some some something and this is all of the YouTube videos that I have done uh, I'm not totally up to date I'm at video number uh, 1355 in here and I think this one that you're watching now is gonna be 1358 so uh, yeah the last two videos are still on my uh, editing server but I'm pretty close to up to date here what I've done is that I have I have multiple backups of this but this is my Dutchie backup one of them this one is uh, from my safe out here and this one stores videos from number 800 and to 1312 that was last time I backed this up so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna prepare to back up the next bunch of uh, videos in here I have a larger SSD that uh, can store 7 point something terabytes and um, I'm gonna copy the data over to this one and then I'm gonna put in this dutchy drive and copy the data over to the dutchy drive just because um, it can take a long time to copy data to the dutchy drive and i need to copy this data uh, twice because i'm gonna take this dutchy drive with me to portugal and i have another drive just like it in portugal which does not have anything further than 1312 so when i have put the newest data on this one I'm gonna bring it to Portugal and then I'm gonna bring the other one with me home and then uh, yeah uh, just for fun and giggles the first 100 videos that I did takes up 635 gigabytes and uh, the last 100 videos full from 1200 to 1300 takes out 1.46 terabytes so going from uh, from full HD to 4k um, costs 800 gigabytes that's not bad 100 videos let's get this show on the road let's see 1312 is the last video that is there so we're gonna go 1313 and the last one there and we're just gonna I'm gonna take the first one and drag over there copy and we get that we are copying 789 gigabytes that's gonna take three hours 15 minutes okay we did not get to do what I thought we were gonna be doing in this video I thought we were gonna be playing with the oh um, well, it's there the uh, DUI DIY dash um, I said it wrong again didn't I Dang it, sorry, DIY dash, not, um, not the other one. So yeah, do, um, do visit my little shop, it's in the description, and check if I have anything that you need, please. And other than that, thank you very much for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again, and have a really nice day, bye bye.